Ten years ago, February 25th, 2004, The Passion of the Christ was released in movie theaters. And we know of the very deep impact the movie has had. The film seems to be able to reach in to the unconscious and deepest emotions of its, of its viewers. One of the themes of The Passion of the Christ and one of the expressions of the genius of the film is the portrayal of the mystical feminine genius of the women biblical figures. We think, for instance, of Mary and the beautiful connection with the heart of her son. We see a, a scene where Our Lady, our, our Lord is working on, as a carpenter on a high table and it's time for a break and lunch. And Mary scolds him and says he needs to change his dirty carpenter's cloak before he comes to lunch. She puts water on his hands and she splash, he splashes it in her face and gives her the, a beautiful, affectionate kiss. The kiss of a son loving his mother. So we see a graced humanity to those scenes. Then we see the relationship between mystic women. We see at the scourging of the pillar Our Lady meeting Claudia, the wife of Pilate, who is a beautiful woman, who has great compassion for her lady and knows that our Lord is a just man from her dreams, which are portrayed in the Bible. There is that scene after the scourging where Claudia, with a great sense of compassion, goes to Our Lady and gives her white linens with which to clean the stones Uh, uh, that are stained with our Lord's blood. That beautiful connection between women in the passion of the Christ. And that, once again, that mystic connection between Mary and her son Jesus, that scene where the film director is able to capture Our Lady laying on pavement sensing the suffering of her son who is right below her in sh- on the next floor in chains, suffering, imprisoned. Her intuitive sense that he is there and her presence with him. We see on the way of the cross that moment where our Lord falls on the ground with the weight of the cross, and suddenly Our Lady rushes to him, and they have this incredible face-to-face encounter. And our Lord is exhausted, but somehow the compassionate strength of his mother helps him to rise. And he says those words from the book of Revelation, Behold, I make all all things new, and he rises with conviction, and Our Lady rises with him. The camera does this in slow motion, and it's set up as almost a Caravaggio-esque painting in its power. Then there is the scene of Veronica amidst the chaos and the cruelty. Once again, the camera speed slows down and we see that Veronica has this mystic focus on the face of Christ as she approaches him and takes the risk of being involved and going directly to him right in the midst of scenes of chaos, cruelty, and violence. And there she is, pressing her veil to his face, touching the wounds of the face of the crucified of of the of Christ doing having his walk to Calvary with a cross on his shoulder 
This is a very powerful scene and a very moving scene with Veronica. And then finally, perhaps one of the greatest moments of genius in the Passion of the Christ is Mary with the beloved disciple John at the foot of the cross right before our Lord's death. Our Lady, with the logic of a mother's heart, moves in and kisses our Lord's feet. And as she pulls back, we see that her face is washed in the blood, the sacred blood of her son. It is such a powerful moment which captures so beautifully the love of a mother for a son, the loyalty of Our Lady to her son on the cross, and the fact that Our Lady is the model disciple and that she is with us as we carry every cross and crisis in our lives.